Joshua Breeze, we are uh, in Dallas, round two. What'd you learn last week and what are you gonna do better? What are you gonna improve on? I know you don't set goals for yourself. You see, you kind of, well, you do set goals for yourself. Yeah, no, I check, do check, check myself there. Yeah, you do set goals. So what are your goals for round two? Uh, now that, you know, we kind of got through one round and going into the second round, my goal is just kind of get the track down as fast as I can and start just clicking off laps instead of trying to, you know, figure out or worry about, you know, crazy big rhythms or whatever. That's what kind of bit me last weekend was just, you know, that big rhythm was really messing with me. The all three, day. three, three. Yeah, yeah. I, I never even tried that three, 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 but the other two, you know, options got me. But, okay. uh, you know, just what I learned from last week going into this week is just to try and just stay as smooth as I can and just uh, put laps together and and uh, be consistent and, and no mistakes. Nice. There's uh, two sections of whoops here. They don't, from a distance, they don't look too bad. I'm not riding though. I mean, you, you're pretty comfortable with two sets of whoops. You ready? Yeah, I'm honestly kind of stoked when okay. I saw the track map with two sets of whoops and uh, that always mixes things up a little bit. And um, you know, with the great suspension that I have and the great bike and everything, I'm stoked and looking forward to it. All right, man. Well, good luck tomorrow night. Thanks. Thanks. Lane Shaw, home in Texas, man. Uh, how you feeling? How you feel back? I mean, Houston's technically home, but you're home in Texas. How you feeling? I'm happy to be home. Uh, feel good. Uh, excited. The track looks awesome. Uh, I got a lot of friends and family coming, so kind of like a homecoming. Just get the season going right. Two big sets of whoops here, it looks like. Uh, does that excite you or scare you like it would me? <laughs> that excites me. Uh, I think there'll be a huge separation, and I like the whoops, so uh, well, they'll do our best in them tomorrow. Try to get it in the top 18. What can you take away from last weekend? Uh, it was a rough weekend for a lot of guys. Uh, really rough travel with all the cold and everything. You take anything away positive? Yeah, we did a couple things positive, um, but it was just my mulligan weekend, like if you were yeah. in golf, so uh, it's behind us. Now we're moving forward. Yeah, just forget about it. Let's go on. Yeah, never I like, happened. I like it. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. If I can hold myself up. Yeah, don't fall over, John Short. Man, we are home for you, Texas. Does that uh, give you any extra motivation, any less pressure, more pressure? Oh, for sure, some motivation. Just uh, seeing people I know and having more than my, you know, whole family, friends, everybody, it makes it uh, motivating to go do well, for sure. What are you taking away from last week? I know it didn't go how you wanted. Uh, last week was rough for a lot of guys. The track was pretty tough. What are you taking away from it? Positive. Yeah, I mean, you never really know where you're at until you race, and sometimes you're better off, sometimes you're not quite as, uh, quite where you think you are. So, uh, worked on a little bit of my riding, you start techniques, and, um, the bike a little bit so hopefully we can progress this weekend all right man good weekend thanks man appreciate it appreciate it let's just move over to Derek Dwyer mechanic for Pierce Brown I don't usually you know mechanics I don't usually get on here because you guys aren't really all that important to the to the whole overall game but now how uh how'd you feel about Pierce's ride last week were you happy with it yeah actually I was really happy um a lot of positives to the weekend in general uh free practice he showed good speed second practice um maybe went wrong direction on some suspension but other than that um rebounded for the third one put in good laps uh i think he qualified eighth uh so that was good and then heat race really got a third place start got into the lead and rode his laps and uh, that's the first time that he's ever led laps. Yeah. So that was a, another check mark, you know. <laughs> and so it seems like we did a lot of checking boxes in the first week and um, have some good hopes to get up there in the main event and just let him do his thing. And I mean, he's he's a top guy. He just has to put himself in the right spot. So. Perfect, man. You you glad to be back with your rider at races? Like you know, I mean. You work when there's when the, your rider's not racing, but yeah. to be back down on the gate, feel good? Yeah, no, it's great. Um, I mean, I did a fill-in deal with him. Yeah. That was cool. Um, but, you know, like, your, your labor, this is where we... Yeah, this is your guy. The fruit to the labor, you know? So, yeah. Um, and he's been hustling. Everybody's been grinding, getting getting the program up and uh, going better than I say than last year. We have a really good group of people. So like just to start on the other side of it, being the mechanic on the floor, it's, uh, it's pretty good. So I'm stoked to get the series going and show what we've done. So. Awesome, man. Appreciate you talking to us. 
Dean Wilson, man, Dallas, Texas. It's not supposed to be this fucking cold in Dallas, but it is. You, you over the cold, like I am already? Well, yeah, I mean, I actually have the cold. I'm getting over it now. Let me step back a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, oh, I'll take this weather any day over Minneapolis. You know? Yeah, it's, true. It's even, like, at least throughout the day, it heats up a bit, so yeah. I don't think it's that bad. It's, uh, yeah, a lot better than uh, last week, for sure. Was it added stress that your flight got, you know, not uh, what was it, moved to a different city to Houston? You got kind of rerouted to that stress. Yeah, you that was that was crazy. I mean, I know it was really icy out in Dallas, and then our, everyone's flight got canceled. Yeah. So we flew into Houston, but then it was getting from Houston to Dallas because there's no rented cars or anything, and we just got lucky. I seen on my Instagram story, Daniel Blair happened to him. He flew into Houston, so I hit him up. And managed to link with him and got a ride. So we yeah. got in at about 10 30 last night. So yeah. Perfect. We got super lucky. He told me I talked to him yesterday at, when he was coming to pick you up actually and he told me there was only one deal, one thing you had to agree to. Did, I mean did Sarah ride up front? Did he get to visit with Sarah the whole ride? <laughs> No, I, we were all we were crammed in that car. I bet because Evan was there too. And then and then uh, I told his son, Evan, Evan I yeah. said, "Hey, I, I need this front seat, buddy. These legs need some breathing room." So. <laughs> yeah, he's little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we put him in the back. All right, man. What's the what's the goal for tomorrow night? Do you have a set goal for Dallas, or is it just keep improving? Uh, that might be the goal. Yeah, I mean, I would honestly be like top six yeah that's my goal okay so i think it's achievable and i've been working hard on my starts and i had a really solid week so i'm ready for it all right man let's get it done thanks Do it. what's going on rj how are you feeling being here in dallas, dallas. Cold, <laughs> yeah, good, indoors. yeah good man i uh like texas a lot more than minneapolis so uh just so, because of the weather right not the people uh -huh. ah <laughs> oh, can't say. yeah i mean dude the how can you sucked. how can you not love texas it's yeah. close to florida so I'm a, I'm a fan of this place I like dallas I like the dirt um yeah feeling good how you feel about the yeah, yeah. Crown format? Like it? yeah i do um okay. yeah i think 29 no 2020 here dallas yeah we had a triple crown um went well so yeah i mean heck i'm, I'm always pretty decent on my starts so we uh, made a little bit of a change this week, just gearing wise, and I felt like I got out of the gate better. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing where we uh, can get out. Yeah, you had a few moments last week in Minneapolis. Uh, how do we fix those things? I mean, you know, you hear all the media guys, like, RJ, he's fast. He has those, those instances where you just like, oh, what happened? <laughs> How do you mentally fix that? Do you, do you even know? I mean, is, is it set up? Is it just, you know, it's always different probably each situation. Yeah, I mean, the way I look at it is when we went racing, I didn't have any moments. I was, I was fine yeah. during the races, everything like that. But, I mean, I just keep trying to be better. And I felt like I had a lot more. Um, and I found the limit a few times. And, uh, <laughs> But yeah, I mean, just, I didn't get a full lap. I mean, all my crashes were in practice, yeah. and that's why, like, I felt like I should have been P1, Honestly, and I kept kind of trying to find it, trying to find it, and I mean, it's a brand new bike too, so I'm trying to learn that as I'm out there, and uh, some things come unexpected, and you're not really ready for it, and that's kind of what happened a couple of those times. So uh, I think as as we learn the bike a little bit more in these race-like conditions, and um, just get a little bit more comfortable. Um, yeah, we shouldn't really have those issues. All right, man, I appreciate you giving some time. Let's get it done. Yeah, thanks. Right.